Dear digital government community, a well-functioning uh, digital, open and interoperable public sector is uh, essential for Europe to manage the political, social and economic challenges of our times. Your community is essential for developing better IT services and bringing more innovation to the public sector. You generate new ideas to tackle the challenges with an open mind and fast reaction. Public uh, administrations are often described as uh, very big ships that need time to move. My vision is uh, rather one of a diverse cluster of boats navigating together with agility around all obstacles around uh, the way. What facilitates this is interoperability. This is why we just proposed a new regulation for strengthened interoperable Europe. It allows us, European institutions and member states, to work together on commonly and openly reusable interoperability solutions and deliver better digital public sector uh, services. I know that most of you here in this conference have been closely involved in designing this policy. And I thank you very much for this uh, collaborative effort. For navigation, we first need a map. With the new Interoperable Europe Act, nobody tells where countries or ships, to use the metaphor, need uh, to go. Instead, we aim at creating a structured cooperation framework that makes identifying the destination and navigating there together possible. One of the game uh, changes or changer of the Act are mandatory assessments on interoperability aspects of upcoming policy proposals. By injecting digital considerations early on in policymaking, public administrations can set a legal framework that is clearer and simpler to implement, and one that ensures trusted data flows. Good for people, businesses, and uh, civil society. A strengthened interoperability policy, however, does not mean an EU top-down, one-size-fits-all approach. It uh, means supporting bottom-up efforts, cooperation, and giving more certainty for regional and national investments and policy decisions. Second, for navigation, we need a compass. Europe's uh, Declaration on Digital Rights and Principles sets the values Europe defends in its digital transformation. This is particularly important for policymakers and companies when dealing with new technologies. Government uh, guide, government's guide on how to develop trustworthy IT tools and ensure transparency of data and algorithms used. We want to encourage common experimentation around innovative public sector technologies. Experimentation mitigates risks of yet unknown technology impacts. It helps with trustworthiness. And GovTech is one of the tools to achieve this. We cooperate closely with the member states to set up a GovTech incubator to help public administrations, SMEs, and startups work together and come up with innovative solutions. Solutions that are ready and open for reuse by other administrations. This involves technologies such as artificial intelligence or blockchain, or applying innovative procurement procedures. With the Interoperable Europe Act, we also step up cross-border innovation cooperation on digital public services by helping set up regulatory sandboxes. Finally, navigation should be done in good company. The key to successful implementation is the true co-ownership of member states, represented by their core stakeholders 
and government chief information officers. It's them, you, responsible for interoperability at national level and for implementing interoperable EU-wide policy tools and systems. Interoperability, um, interoperability solutions cannot be developed by anybody on his or her own. That is why the proposal establishes flexible and open co-creation processes between the actors most involved, based on a stable, accountable and fully transparent cooperation structure. The proposal is an example <clears throat> of digital ready and future-proof policymaking. To sum up, the four fundamentals of our Interoperable Europe Act proposals are first, structured cooperation structure co-owned by the Member States and the Commission to support interoperability in an ever-evolving technology and policy context. Second, mandatory assessments for interoperable by design EU law and policy making. Third, innovation and joint experimentation, notably through GovTech cooperation with the private sector. And uh, finally, common and openly reusable solutions for administrations at all levels to build interoperable systems and services. This uh, will be our shared compass in the years to come in moving towards the digital transformation of the European public administration. So I wish you all a safe journey into reaching the harbour together.